Yeah, it's probably, arguably, one of my favorite times of the year. As is, is a lot of people, so I like to think of it as harvest time. Everything is grown during the summer, and everything's come to harvest, and like all the apples, pumpkins, and all of the crops, the corn, and so forth. And uh, I've really tried to uh, tried to endeavor to traverse kind of the the pagan aspect of the. Uh, of uh, the Halloween thing and that sort of thing. I used to like Halloween as a kid a lot. My favorite times of year, certainly, the air gets cool, the leaves start turning, the air is fresh, you can smell the wood burning fireplaces and so forth. <laughs> Good sleeping weather, some people say. I'll second that motion all day long. One of the things you guys are going to learn, um, or I'm going to show you about being prepared, is uh, a little portable stove that you can buy um, or order online. Uh, Eastern Mountain Sports uh, sells this stuff. Um, this is a can of what they call, what, what's typically called, or commonly called, white gas. Um, and basically, uh, it will provide a, um, this surface is not so level. But anyway, I'll show you. Uh, you situate this on a level surface, and you un uh, you take your kit, and uh, this is your igniter. Don't want to lose that, especially if you don't uh, bring matches. Um, but certainly, I highly recommend. Um, oops, this is the wrong way. Uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay. Um, and then you want to fasten your valve stem burner, your valve stem, which is basically your stove or your burner. And you want to, don't, you don't want to over tighten it. You want to get it snug right and then you want to make sure that it has a, a, a fairly decent or level base um, there are ways to find other level surfaces and so forth rocks and that sort of thing and then you turn your gas on like this take your igniter and voila flame I make fire And that's um, how that's your portable stove, and it's a great thing to have, especially um, if you're on the road uh, and you bring like some little cookable things, and obviously the essential stuff like uh, coffee. Now, um, if I can find, because uh, this isn't entirely level, uh, which doesn't make me. Uh, what about this over here? This looks a little... Yeah, there we go. That looks better. Um, I actually brought some coffee with me. Um, and rather than... And this is why you'd want stuff like uh, saddlebags or a carrying case or something in your bike. And then uh, you want a tin cup. I actually never bothered to uh, take this sticker off. I've actually cooked with... Um, or, you know, heated water. 
but um, these heat up very quickly these tin cups and then I actually pre-mixed my um, my coffee with cream and sugar uh, in my plastic bag so uh, we take um, oh we can't uh, forget the most important ingredient which is water but there's actually plenty of it there and uh, theoretically you could probably drink it and it wouldn't kill you um, I know that there's this all to do about bacteria and all this kind of um, baloney but uh, having um, uh, camped out um, I worked out in the Rocky Mountains years many years ago and uh, we learned how to read, you know, read stuff like contour maps, quad, what they called uh, quadrangles. And quadrangles, the military very early on, um, particularly with the Lewis and Clark expedition and all that sort of thing, they wanted contour maps and um, reads uh, the lay of the land and so forth. So, uh, and you, we could find things like my, you know, you could um, like actually look at a quadrangle or a contour map of this area here, and you'd probably see stuff. Uh, you may even see stuff out in the middle of this. Um, res this is a reservoir, and I'm pretty sure um, this is man-made, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it could be part of a natural um, uh, natural water table type situation but I'm I'm very certain that this is um, uh, they allow you to do boating and so forth and I think even fishing so and then what you do is And actually, you can see it's starting to bubble already. So, that's pretty cool. And you never want to um, lose your igniter, so you always put it back in the case. And then we'll just wait for that to come to a boil. You also want to make sure that um, when you're doing this, that um, there's nothing that's going to disturb the, uh, the stove, the base, or particularly while it's ignited or lit. Because uh, obviously, you can see I'm sitting in somewhat uh, of the middle of a tinder box with all of these dry leaves and dead branches and so forth. So um, that's something you want to be mindful of. But this is aluminum, this uh, boat here, base, so we're pretty much good to go with that. And there's no wind. There's a very light breeze blowing, so it's not bad. So all of these things you take into consideration or factor in when you're doing something like this. And uh, it's a lot, it can be a lot of fun. Okay, so our water has come to a boil, which is great. And we can turn our flame off. It really literally only took about three or four minutes, if that, um, to get hot enough. And uh, I'm wondering if, um, I brought, oh, there's actually more in there. Yes, I did. I actually brought hot, I have hot chocolate too, um, which is always good to have. <clears throat> but uh, here we go, our pre-mixed uh, coffee concoction. And uh, there you have it. this video be sure to like share and subscribe you can also now find us on feed just type in hashtag head first